Do you drink sparkling wine for New Year's? Hi, I'm David, and this is Wine Forecaster. Well, Leah and I certainly drink sparkling wine New Year's Eve and sometimes even New Year's Day as well. But this year, we're going to try something a little bit different. We're going to try a spumante. Spumante means sparkling in Italian. This is Goose Watch's Golden Spumante. Now, Goose Watch is on the Cayuga Lake Wine Trail. This um, Golden Spumante is $12.99. In addition, what I want to try today is my um, sparkling wine stopper that I got over the holidays as a gift. So, Leah's not home right now. I figured we can open up this bottle of wine, we'll pour it in glass, we'll taste it, see how it looks and all that, and then what we'll do is we'll cap the bottle and we'll come back about seven or eight hours later this evening and Leah and I can reopen it and try it again and see how it compares to the way it is now. Okay, so let's get started. All right. So I've already taken the foil off the top of the bottle. I like to leave the foil on the, uh, the neck of the bottle just in case there's any drops that come off it. it when you set, set the bottle straight back up again, that'll kind of catch those drops so it doesn't end up on your table. Once I get to the part where you remove the, the wire, I keep my hand on top of the bottle as much as possible because there's so much pressure in the bottle that you don't want this you know, hurting anybody. And then start to remove the cork. That surprised me actually. There was a ton of pressure on that. That you really want to try to avoid. You want to see if you can remove this thing very, very slowly. It should just hiss. All right, anyway, the most common wine glass, of course, is the flute. And it, it's very nice for presentation and you see the bubbles rising on it. Very, very um, appropriate for drinking um, sparkling wines with. Lee and I are trying to, you know, in a better effort to smell the wines, we're trying to use the Chardonnay glass more often, and that's what we're going to be using today. Strawberry and red fruits. Very candy taste. Again, red fruits. Again, I have that bubble gum component on my mouth. Some light fizz from my tongue, very easy, very pleasant, very happy, a nice, a nice, a very nice sparkling wine. Let's give this a, a, a whirl here. So the mechanism and how this works, as you unscrew the top of this uh, stopper, inside there is a, um, what looks like it expands and gets, it gets smaller, almost like it inflates actually, like a, a rubber gasket. And by having the top unscrewed all the way it allows that to fit inside the bottle and you can really push this down over the whole bottle and of course now I expect this to fill as I counter, as I turn it clockwise it should fill and create a seal over the bottle so there you go we'll let that sit for um, like I said seven seven or eight hours until this evening and when Leah gets home uh, we'll try it again and see how it compares all right, so we're back. And, Hi. <laughs> yeah. So it's been about six hours since we uh, covered this bottle up, and uh, you know, it's. I'm I'm kind of curious if this is going to six gonna, hours. Okay. Yeah. What what time did you open this? <laughs> Two o'clock this afternoon. It's going to hiss again. Is it going to come oh, off like the yeah. last one? Right. Well, it hissed a little bit. It hissed Ow. a little bit more. Nice. That's off. Some bubbles forming Some bubbles in there. the bottle. I get strawberries in there. Um, it's got the faint yeast smell in there, but it's more got, it has some citrus too. It's got like strawberry and lemon. Like I made a strawberry lemon um, jam, and this is what it smells like. See, I smell bubble gum, and I smell candy, hmm. and. Uh, it's just this fruity component to it. I get a little bit of grapefruit in there too. Hmm. We have different different noses. <laughs> now the effervescence is still there. It's a little more sour than the last time. It has a little bit of a, a sour apple taste to it. I would agree that there's a little bit of sourness, but it's still fine. I just was thinking, you know, over the afternoon, 
um, why one couldn't just put a regular wine cork in. Of course, you're not going to be able to squeeze that um, sparkling wine cork that you took out of the bottle and put it back in. But um, I would imagine, why couldn't you just use a regular, you know, flat wine cork? Well, I think you're creating some type of a vacuum. But there's, um, wait, well, we didn't pull any air out of this doing this. I, at least I didn't get the impression that I was. Mm, I don't know. Yeah, I suppose what I could do is put I could put a regular cork in it again and try it another six hours and see what it's like. <laughs> or we can open right a now. new bottle. Well, we would like to thank you for your patronage in 2015. 2016 is right around the corner. We've all got to get used to saying it and writing it all <laughs> over again. So from us to you, Happy New Year. And thanks for joining us. I'm YM Forecaster. I'm Leah. And I'm David. Cheers. Cheers.